SCR Saga. Talk about Smash 4 Sagas here. SCR Saga was the first time I actually saw Light versus Rhino. Mm -hmm. And of course, we also have uh, Fatali and Wadi. Actually, no, it wasn't. I don't know if it was SCR Saga. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I will, I will correct you guys as soon as I get the information for you guys. But let's jump into it here. Ned versus Naruto. Ned no longer a Cloud main. Yeah, he's switching up with the Pokemon trainer. Well, let's see how this goes down, actually. Yeah, just immediately starting off with those four tilts. I mean, the tail is intangible during that, so it's a very great neutral tool. All right, big combos going on from Ned so far. Now we're really not really able to start anything. So just a bit of a correction here for you guys. It was Light versus Raido at the Master Sword Mondays, the follow-up to Hyrule Saga. Okay, so right now, Ned is really on top of Nairo. Nairo really haven't been able to start anything, but there we go. Finally gets a Nair string, able to put his helm off. I mean, Politan really only needs, like, what, the one Nair, then he can try <laughs> to come back with the damage. It's not only the one rare, the one Nair to rule them all. Yeah. Okay, switching off to Charizard. Seismic Toss. Nice. Death? No, no nah, just, not yeah, quite, Nairo yeah. holding the great DI, 144. Heavy has got us in the game. Oh, but the fly. <laughs> okay. Then able to hit him with the back air, too. Mm -hmm. Back to the Squirtle. Gonna get uh, like some early combos. Mm, oh. Not quite yet. Hard to get the early comboing up in the sky against that explosive flame here. Good grab from yeah. Nairo. Another opportunity. Can't get the back air. Gonna have to recover somehow, oh. but a great drop down there. Nairo able to get that edge guard even on the swinging Ivysaur. And I love it, too, because the way he was kind of hopping around himself on the ledge, he was trying to mix up the timing of what he was gonna go for against Ned. Oh, finishes up with Waterfall. I like it. Closes out a combo with a solid 54%. I like how even when he gets to the mid percent, he still he likes to stick it with a Squirtle. I mean, he's a very tiny character. He's very light, yes, but he can get a lot of damage in. And then uh, when he starts getting it to like the 80, 90%, then he starts getting with the with the Ivysaur. Exactly. It's, you kind of have to pick and choose which Pokemon will be the right for the calling here. And then the early percent Squirtle is the big choice. Yeah. Big tech chase opportunity there with that Back down throw. tilt. Not quite. Good opportunity. He's still going to go for the Razor Leaf to set up the low recovery and the down air on the second attempt. Ned is not going to let Nairo come back for free. Yeah, the double dunk just to make sure, and it works out in his favor. Ned looking really good on this first game right now. Back air. Gets around the explosive flame. Mm. Does not get around the edge guard, but got another opportunity. Yes, and he does the Swedish swap, <laughs> <laughs> and he's able to go in and switch off with the Charizard, get the horizontal recovery that he needs. Good narrative shield here. Ned with the stock lead. I like it. Look at, him, look at the space and stuff between him and Charizard. Because he wants to make sure if he does get Nairo with the backer, it is going to be the tipper hit, which is the strongest one. They're looking for a nice, good empty hop here to kind of switch him up here with a down tilt. And the up smash, and that'll take care of Nairo's stock here. Ned going to game one in his hands. A two stock right here. Yeah. Very nice stuff so far. Although I would say one thing I will say, why well, you gotta play the green color, dude? Shout out to the gold version. That was the best one well, in my you opinion. Play the green colors, gold man. version, man. Gold version. I don't know, dude. I, 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 I'm not feeling it, but I feel like a lot of people hate green in general, so I'm you hate you hate me. I am wearing green. Then yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were friends, man. Anyways, Nairo, you know who's not friends in this bracket right now? Nairo and Ned. Mm-hmm. Ned with a very commanding um, showing there. The one thing I liked about what Nairo did last game, just to kind of call back into memory here, when Ned went for a dash attack, Nairo kind of empty hopped and then hit him with back air, understanding, okay, he's going to cross me up, go for a back air, just in case. And that's kind of one of the things Nairo is kind of using here, is back air to, with the intangibility that it has to challenge Ned on some of the options. Interesting option with the up smash there. Didn't quite work in his favor. I felt like he was going to DI out, and he felt like, okay, let me catch the DI out, and then go for the ice match to catch yeah, him on it. Yeah, fair enough. Explosive flame comes in. All of a sudden, Nairo with a turning up the heat at the moment. Oh, I like it. Going for the Smash 4 classic grab. Roll behind the ledge here. Okay, I like the attempt to try and intercept with auto reticle instead. Not yeah. quite going to work there. Down throw. Nice net switching out to Ivysaur. He knows Squirtle is that lightweight, top three lightest character in the game. Okay, it's more 4 smash on the other side. Ned still keeping it in here. 
down throw. Nice, and he gets the back air here. Not much he could have done at that point. Now I'm looking like Nairo having the lead over Ned here. We'll have to see because uh, Ned's combo game was looking really good so far. But I think Nairo's doing a good job of spacing outside of Squirtle's small range. So it's yeah. working out for him. That force match was a little bit unprecedented. So that time Ned was able to get a combo. Nice. Ned lands here. And he's looking for the forward smash, but he doesn't find it against Nairo. Now Nairo with control here misses the grab. I feel like that was a combination not only being Squirtle being low profile, but he went for the spot dodge. Another fair. I believe it's slightly distorting it too, so it definitely helps out uh, Squirtle, especially Ooh. with his range. All right, what's the call gonna be? He's looking for it here. <clears throat> Not a space back air, and that allows Nairo to kind of get it. Yo, he barely just dodged that explosive flame. Oh, and the switch to get the invincibility frames, but Nairo was there for the second jump and the second back air attempt. Yeah, he was ready for it that time. Three stocks to one, all of a sudden, uh, Man, it just took one game for Nairo really to turn it back oh, around. Oh my he god! Knows where he's going! He knows where he's going. Boy, why are you going low? And there's one way to stop momentum on a player. That's definitely one. A three stock after a after a very commanding game one from Ned. Yeah. That's very nice stuff. You know what Nairo said? I heard you were a sub to the Nairo. He, he said, Ned, I know you in the Naifu Nation. I'll get I'll let you have one. <laughs> I have to let you have one. Alrighty. Game three here between Nairo and Ned. I mean, you mentioned it earlier, right? That's one thing that Nairo did is shut down any momentum Ned had from the first game. Well, a three stock? Oof. All right, going to a smaller stage, though, on Smashville. We'll see how this goes down. I feel like this stage can kind of work with both players, but we'll have to see who takes advantage of the terrain more. Right. Of course, the platform is statically in the middle. Allows for different setups here on the platforms as well. Whew! Alrighty. Okay, he covers high with the waterfall just to catch him off guard. And yep, the up air strings, very hard to navigate around that. Back throw, almost gets a back air here. Ned looking for a neutral air, but he misses the opportunity. And both of them are being very careful, but I like that. Uses the forward tilt. And nice. now I like that, yeah, dash back just calling out Nairo trying to get aggressive when he comes back from the defensive position. Good neutral out of the shield here. Catches Nairo and he tosses in the razor leaf to force Nairo to go low, but this time Nairo will kind of change things up and he goes for the up B, but the up smash will catch Nairo on the roll. Yeah, there was just so much shield stun on that back air and by the time Nairo dropped shield and tried to go in for something, then the mm -hmm. up smash was already out. So he got called out there hard. And that's one thing I like about Ned and Nairo, the way they're able to use their specials to kind of force their opponents to go for the recovery they want. But Nairo, knowing that Palutena has that teleportation, he can pick and choose if he wants to land on the stage. Okay. <laughs> the Razor Relief uh, got deflected by the shield. Oh, oh but the back air. The back air. Nice. Using the directional air dodge to kind of come in for the recovery. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Oh, and that godsend, that the new neutral air that Charizard has. Oh, oh. first hit of up smash <laughs> actually takes him out. Good parry. Yeah. Nice. And he immediately goes for the jab. He knows he's gonna kinda kinda has Nara on the ropes. Mm -hmm. Now the main question is, are we gonna see a stock rob with Charizard back air? Is the main question. Oh, oh you hate to see it, man. It'll be in Palutena not getting robbed by anything. Just the back air to finish it off. Does he get back from the ledge? Okay, just neutral air. Down tilt. Yeah, very nice. Nice catching the recovery. Tries to get the down smash to close it out, but not quite. Yeah, he's really looking for that down smash. He's a little stubborn about that. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out from the ledge there, Nairo was ready for it with neutral air. That's kind of one thing that Nick kind of has to understand too, is he was, if he's going to go for a jump get up, Nairo might be there for a neutral or a back air, and he has to kind of respect it too. Mm -hmm. There's a back air. Nice. It's usually the trademark of a Pokemon trainer to probably preferably switch to Ivasaur when it mm -hmm. comes up to edge guarding. Right. Ooh. Drop down there. Uh, enough time to shield. There and it is. The back air. There, there it go. is. Yeah. It didn't rob him <laughs> of the stock, but it closed it out. So very nice stuff. I feel like Nairo is not one to get robbed. He's usually the one doing the robbing here with yeah. Ganondorf. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like Ned has a pretty commanding lead so far. 
Oh, that almost didn't work out. I thought he was going to die from that, even when he did the switch. <laughs> oh, but the neutral air, not going to be enough yet. Good switch, trying to get the, the invincibility frames. Yeah, and he, and he minimizes the damage racked up mm -hmm. from Explosive Flame, too, so that lets him survive a little bit longer. But the shield comes in clutch again. Stocks are even. No, nope, not the percents. Ned looking to make sure he holds onto the lead, but Nairo looking for the forward air. Yeah, I feel like either of these two characters can really get a, just an easy 40% combo, and it really just going to turn the tide of the match. Yeah. We'll have to see. And Ned wants to make sure he's the one getting it over Nairo. All right, recovers high. Try to stay outside of his range. Try to call the defensive option, but not quite. Double fair, comes back to the stage. They both trade, but that leaves Ned in a bad position. Tries to fake a cross-up. Doesn't quite happen. Back air, good parry for Ned. And he nearly falls up, puts Nairo up in the air. He's looking for the landing, but no up smash. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of one of the things Ned hasn't done so far when he's been at the ledge, right, going for the Vine Whip. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't been playing Ivysaur too much, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think Squirtle's his favorite. Squirtle's been the one, yeah. yeah. Oh! oh, and he gets it after the up smash. That forward smash was not enough. The way that he was spaced between him and Nairo. I feel like neither of those players are satisfied how that game ended. <laughs> like, would, even, even, even Ned was like, what? I, I, that's how I win? <laughs> like, you force match it? <laughs> this, force is how, this is how you choose to go down? Come oh, on, man. man. All righty. Well, that, that happened. <laughs> All right, well, the next game here, Ned up 2-1 against Nairo. Man, you said Ned and Nairo look kind of like. <laughs> at this point, Ned is making Nairo feel like the, the body double at this. We'll see how things go here. Ned up 2-1, set point for Ned. Nairo down one game. Okay, here we go. Back on stadium. Yeah, I think both of these two, a little bit more careful about when they're going to actually close that interaction. Yeah. So let's see here. Yeah, both of them are very very hesitant. I feel like both of them kind of know the pressure that's on uh, that's going to happen here. Good neutral air. Looking to put Ned more off in the corner. Hey, back throw. Put him back off stage. What's the call going to be? Try to call out a jump. Not quite. Ned reacting kind of late on that tech chase. Usually Squirtle's uh, really on it when uh, when you get a tech roll read. Not mm -hmm. quite there. Then watches himself in the recovery too. He doesn't want to get caught by explosive thing for going going too far out. Doesn't want to get caught out by up air for going too far in. Oh, that four smash almost did it. Oh, not enough uh, that. Okay, well, he tried to go for it. I respect I, it. Yeah, you least. have to give him. You have to at least give him that. Okay, I like that. Uses the dare to try to delay himself. Not quite gonna work how he wanted to. That's gonna gotta think about closing the stock. Oh, the tech chase on the platform, but he doesn't get the right read. Wrong spacing on that. Nice recovery, waits his time here. Invincibility has run out. He's using all of Charizard's jumps to mix his landing here into the back air. It was not enough to take care of Nairo, but it does give Ned the stage to control. I was smash out of shield. If that's the if that's the MVP of the game here, then I don't know what is. Yeah, that up smash has closed out like three of Nairo's stock so yeah. far. The range, you have to respect it. How does he get back from this? Okay, great directional air dodge actually. But down, down throw. throw, back air. Not enough. I like the water gun, tried to push him away. Didn't quite work the way he wanted to. Still had enough time to come back. I kind of want to see Nairo kind of mix up the down throw too, especially now Ned is a little bit more keen to be aware of the back, throw, the back air. Okay, catches him in the air. Uh, tries to find one more soft reset, but not able to quite get it yet. But he's got another opportunity here. With the missed dash attack, yes. Closing out the uh, the percent deficit slowly, but surely. Nice, kind of delays himself for that last second hit to get the back air. Stopping out, switching, forcing the switch here. Back throw. He's That'll dead. do it, yeah. Charizard's heavy, man, but I'm telling you. Yeah. Does. She's got some strength. Yeah, the strength of a goddess, man. I have to wait a one two, man. Sometimes you live in too long. <laughs> <laughs> Great parry. Not able to find anything out of it. Man, he's really good at catching when Nairo's going to try to land with an aerial. Really catching on to the aggressiveness. I mean, you kind of have to feel that too, right? You, especially playing the meta game with how strong Palutena is in it. You have to get used to parrying a lot of Palutena's aerial options. Like Ned is doing so. It's like four in a row. <laughs> this, guy's could, this guy could get a, be an A student if he wanted to. 
Oh, oh no. Okay, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. I think he tried to make it so that it would be a short range one, and then he just ended up doing it on the wrong side mm -hmm. altogether. I'm surprised he hasn't switched yet. <laughs> I mean, that was at like 150. <laughs> okay, there we go. I mean, I feel like for Net, for Net it's going to be Squirtle being the star player, but that up smash is going to be the star move. Yeah, anything could kill at this point. Oh, I'll try to find the up air. Not quite. Up smash again? <laughs> no, nope. seismic, seismic toss. toss. There we go. Good mix up going for an empty hop, and that's something Nyro was kind of accounting for, right? The up smash from Charizard probably at this point. Yeah. Ned's not out of it yet. He can definitely pull something off with Pokemon Trainer. We'll just have to see. There's the back throw. Bad position to be in. Uses up the jump. Pushes nice. him away with the water gun. Very nice. Ned is very keen to use all of the Pokemon Trainer's recovery options. There's a plethora of them. You kind of have to use it, but the neutral get up. Is it going to be the right call? He's still at the percent where he's not going to get hit by back air, but the down tilt will be enough to clip him and send Nyro to game five. Alrighty. Yeah, Ned really giving Nairo a run for his money here. Yeah. We're on a game five scenario, it's Ned's counter pick. It's going to be exciting to see. I'm a broken record, man, but I'm telling you, man, this top 128 is the most stacked 128 I've ever seen. Yeah. In Ultimate. We're closing the book on year one, and this is stacked. All right, well, there's the fifth month game five here. Only one walks away a winner, punching in their ticket to not even top eight, top 32. You just need one W in top 128. Alright, back to Smashville. Alright, well the crowd has kind of come together here to see Ned and Nairo play out of game five. Ned with the first string here at 31%. If there has been a trend between these two, we might see the last dock last hit situation here. Yeah, <laughs> this is the just the way all of our game fives have been going. Yep. Someone's gonna make a hundred to zero comeback again like he did earlier. <laughs> Oh man, let's see what the heartbreaker is going to be today. Nice, switching out, low recover here. Immediately goes for the Vine Whip, but he tries to go for an aerial. Oh, bad spot. Mm. Does a sweet spot the ledge. I'm not liking it for Ned at this L edge here. Yeah, very awkward spots altogether. I think nairo has been doing a good job of positioning himself in a way that makes it difficult for Ned to make a smart defensive position. He just usually goes for something, and then he has another way to cover it. Okay, so close. Ned's yeah. gonna use all those jumps. He needs them to come back to the stage. Yeah, he, he's gotta use those wings, man. I know the, the proportions aren't really that correct, but still gotta use them how you want. The fourth tilt comes in. No back air to follow up either. There's the flamethrower. Down oh. tilt. <laughs> Looking for the down what? air, and he finds oh. it right before he gets the ability to even touch the ledge. That was great timing. Uh, Ned just knew. He just knew exactly when it was going to come out. And going going five games between you and Nairo, you got to know something, yeah, right? Right. Uh, you got to know something <laughs> with the back air. <laughs> oh, man. Easy bake right there. Ah, oh, the Nair gets beaten out by Paula's at his Nair. That staff. The bane of so many characters' existence. Ooh, a follow-up with double fair. Corner gets a carry, dash though. back. Yeah, there we go. Down tilt, gets the grab, up throw, looking to see where Nairo might be going with the DI here. Oh, and the down smash covers both sides. I never thought I'd see a Pokemon trainer put Squirtle at the front end of the center. But here, <laughs> man, Ned is definitely showing everybody. Oh, and the down air from me misses, oh! and a second attempt! Ned is not going to let Nairo come back. Oh, but the up smash on the switch, not quite. Oh my god, that dare was so clutch from Ned. Now he's got himself in a lead here. Once and more, the photographers are getting ready for a potential pop-off here. Not really oh, shaking. Oh, he barely served, missed that explosive flame. Oh, get up attack, very smart. Nice. He immediately jumped out of that situation. He kind of saw Nairo's attempt to go for a grab. Oh, that was great. The Vine Whip not going to finish off the combo, but still a great amount of percent just off of one parry. Nairo's got to be careful about how he lands with those aerials. Great wave land back. Mm -hmm. Nice. The switch to avoid the back. He's been getting hit by that every single time. I, I tell <laughs> you, man, it's there. Yeah, man, it just happens. But last stock scenario for both of these players, just like you said, who's going to be able to close it out and move on in the bracket? We'll have to see. Starts off with the fair. It's just careful on that spacing. He knows. He knows that Palutena can beat him in the range. 
And there we go, the big conversion. That's gonna be scary. What's the option gonna be? Go yeah. through the back air. Even game right now. The switch to and the razor leaf to cover the shield so it can get back on the stage. Ned pulls out all the stops. Oh, the Razor Leaf. Mm, he barely the back the not back there. Air. Oh, he barely gets it in, the Razor Leaf. Here we go. Into Finally? the up B. No. No, 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 no. What's he the option going to be? Him. Calls him out. Gets a back throw. Send he him to the other side. The Charizard comes out. He wants Nyro to go low there. Woo! Nice. Ned with the stage control here. No up smash just yet. Nyro not falling to it this time around. No explosive flame comes out. Tries to air dodge through. Oh, he makes it back. <laughs> he makes it back. This is the shakiest one. I told you guys. Game five, last knock, last hit. Who gets it? Oh, Get that's the it! The side toss! Net does it and he moves out in the bracket, <laughs> upsetting Nairo in the process. Woo! There's the pop off. Moving on, Nairo in the loser's bracket here. It took the last game of our block to see the upset of the day here, and it is Ned versus Nairo.